Welcome to the San Leandro Creek Cleanup 2019. I'm Susan Levinson, um, and I'm the coordinator for Friends of San Leandro Creek. I really appreciate you guys coming out today. Um, as you can see, we have cleared all the way to as far as we could get on the creek bank. And the plants that we removed are non-native and something called invasive. It's important to remove non-native species because they take all the nutrients and water from the soil and they become too overpopulated and that takes everything that the native species need away so they cannot continue to live and these guys just take over. So I want to talk a little bit about creek restoration, what it is and what it isn't. We're restoring this to some sort of natural state. And those logs are all either real uh, habitat or potential habitat. In fact, in one of the logs last week, we found a whole bunch of moose This native Californian bay laurel tree was being choked by ivy, which is a non-native plant species that has taken over many areas of the San Leandro Creek. The ivy was removed during another Clean the Creek day. So guys, why do you think that the creek is important? Well, because if you keep a creek clean, it's good for the animals, but if there's garbage in it, Which leads to a lake, which leads to the bay, which leads to the ocean. And then it goes into the Pacific Garbage Patch, which is getting larger by the minute. It's three times the size of Texas. It's important because um, for our local people to come and sit by the river. And the animals that live there. Yeah. Like the meats and salamanders. Or people get like cut on it when they're wading in the ocean or in the creek. So if you ever find like garbage in the creek, you, you should take it out and throw it away so it doesn't end up in the ocean. Look at these horse throw plants. They're natural plants. If we take out all the invasive species, then they have more room to grow. Shelf mushrooms. These are shelf mushrooms, guys. So there's many different types of them, including the largest one in the world is actually in Oregon. But these guys live on the sides of tree trunks, on plants, but mostly trees. And you can see all the different types of them, but this is only one. And they look like this. 